Hello everybody, it's uh, Mark Brennan here. Um, I'm just about to release a new set of uh, photographs from a place um, off the southern tip of Nova Scotia called Seal Island. And I've just brought up a map here. And you can see where this island is. Um, it's very far off of the uh, coast of Yarmouth, about 40 kilometers. Now the island itself, um, as you can see right here, is kind of an elongated island. It's very difficult to get to. Um, principally, uh, most of the lobster fishermen and local families come from uh, this area, Clark's Harbour and Shag Harbour, out to Seal Island. And uh, there's sort of a, a summer a residency there of lobster fishermen and local cottage owners, but also um, for a very long time, Bird watchers have been going to Seal Island uh, since, you know, probably quite a few decades. And uh, it's there almost a tradition now. And back in 2016, I had the chance to visit this very remote and um, rich maritime history uh, place um, in October. And we took the boat from uh, southern Nova Scotia. Uh, it was a lobster boat. And... Basically, this is a map of the island, and we came into um, this area here, uh, sort of near Hitchens Cove. Uh, you can see a little wharf right here. And we stayed in one of these homesteads um, that I'm circling right here in the east side village. Uh, there's no power on the island. Uh, there's also a small village there, mostly of lobster fishermen around here on the west side village. And I was there for 10 days. We got to experience a hurricane um, and stayed there with uh, in the homestead with about six or seven bird watchers. And of course, I love bird watching too. So it was uh, a perfect um, opportunity for me. So what I'm gonna share with you here is some of the photographs. I, I took a lot of photographs, but um, I found myself photographing um, very early in the morning and at night um, and I've whittled this collection down to 14 photographs, um, which I'm going to go through right now. So this is the main homestead that we stayed in. Um, as you can see in, in the background here, it's a very boreal uh, sort of habitat on the island. Um, the island has been heavily grazed by sheep, so um, they tend to hang out on these sort of lawn areas. Um, I was very interested in uh, capturing... Uh, just that sort of that time between uh, sort of pre-dawn and dawn. It's a very unique time. The light lasts very, very short time. And uh, as you'll see in these images as we go through them, um, the, the, the island itself really lends its well self to uh, photography around this time of day because really there's no artificial light to interfere with um, any of the... Uh, of my idea of the, the types of images that I would like to make. So a lot of them you'll find are very subtle um, and uh, almost sort of an uncanny type of image. This is the second image here. Um, it's fairly grainy, but um, at full resolution, it's actually a, a very beautiful uh, photograph. Um, what took me here was this is sort of uh, probably about 45 minutes before sunrise. Um, you can see an aircraft going through the screen there. So that gives you an, an idea of the length of time, of the exposure here. Also, the stars are starting to get a little bit of star trail in this area. But this is one of the old homesteads. Um, been standing here for probably well over 100 years. The really incredible textures. Um, on this old typical sort of uh, family fisherman's homestead uh, to the rear here, sort of counterpoint and an, an area of interest. That's the place that we stayed. It was the only inhabited um, house on the east side of the um, island while we were there, except for one other location. Um, this is the same homestead, uh, again, a long exposure. Um, taken looking uh, from the south to the north. So that's sort of uh, the, the, the pre-dawn sky um, in the north as 
uh, sort of dawn is approaching. Um, you can see that the uh, ocean has been flattened out um, because of the long exposure. And this next shot is a night shot. Um, well, it's probably just the first sort of hints of light are starting to um, come out of the east. Very clear sky, as you can see. Uh, this is the homestead that we stayed in. Um, and it's principally a lot of bird watchers stay here when they come to the island for fall migration. And so you can see that the bird watchers are up. Um, there's uh, some smoke coming out of the, the wood stove here. Uh, this lighted bedroom here was my room. Um, over here to the left was an outhouse and most of our cooking was done in the kitchen down here. But um, it was actually quite comfortable, even though we had no power, there was a generator. Um, you can see a little solar panel right here. But uh, the quality of light um, in this place, because of that sort of dark uh, sky that you, you know, we rarely get to see, was really astounding. Um, this is the mainland here. You can just see some sort of lights from the mainland, and that, that would be probably 30 kilometers away. Um, this was the uh, location next to the homestead that we stayed in. Um, it's a small sort of homestead with a piece added on. But again, I mean, just look at that light. This is uh, quite a long exposure. Um, sort of pre-dawn again, and I was really drawn to this time of day. Um, this is just such a special time. There was a, a real stillness during the time that we were there, except for a hurricane that came through. Um, so there's very little movement in the trees. Just a lovely, crisp, clear image. So this next one, um, taken from the same side of the island uh, on one very calm, frosty morning. Just that cloud there was what drew me, I think. But of course, the timing had to be perfect um, in order to uh, capture this. We don't get very long um, as the light sort of changes very quickly. Now, what really drew me to this photograph was the light coming through this window right here. And you'll see it in another image in this image. If I move closer, um, and there it is again, that light coming through the window it just adds another sort of dimension to the photograph. Okay, moving on now. Um, I did take some photographs from the forest. I thought it was a really lovely contrast sort of between the, the dark boreal sort of broken down ragged edges that drew my eye to, to the looking out um, towards sunrise and uh, parts of the uh, village out there, which you can see right there. This wasn't far from the homestead that I stayed in. Um, another one taken a couple of days later, you can see the cobwebs here being caught by the light, just sort of coming through the uh, trees. Um, I've really tried to balance this composition out um, with some like nice foreground areas here and uh, like capturing all this sort of stuff over here to balance out the space. Um, again, timing was everything here to capture this right here, which I think is sort of the essence of this photograph. Um, it really gives sort of something extra, which is what I try to look for um, in my work. Um, we experienced all kinds of uh, different sort of mornings, and this one was really special, uh, very misty, uh, looking up towards the um, homestead where I was staying sort of down from the shore, but this beautiful mist was hovering over the landscape there. I use the uh, this old road as sort of a lead in line. I love the, the sense of depth and the layers here. Um, this work, uh, more of a on a clear sort of morning. I, I like the light um, hitting this red boathouse on the left hand side. It, it took me quite a while to find this composition. 
um, to get everything balanced and sort of in situ is to, to give the, the photograph uh, sort of a, a structure. Um, it was quite difficult. Um, I just kept moving around and, and sort of searching and searching and, and eventually settled on this composition, um, which I'm quite pleased with. Again, we, we see a little bit of light coming through here. The buoy adds a little bit of interest. And this is the uh, homestead uh, from a few photographs ago. Now the island has a sort of a, a rich human history, a lot of shipwrecks. Um, around this island, but it's also is a, a place, as I said earlier, to keep sheep, and uh, they're no longer there. These sheep, they've been removed, and uh, this is sort of like the last stand of the sheep. This uh, mother and uh, young uh, lamb. Um, I really liked uh, the way they were standing there. They they stood pretty still for me. I had to. This is all taken on tripod, so. There's that red boathouse in the previous photograph, and we're looking at the side of this uh, homestead here uh, from the previous photograph. We're moving on. I've got two more here. Uh, this is the church, um, late evening, and it's just sort of the last, last part of the light. I mean, another, probably another 10 to 15 seconds, and that light on this spire, which was what I was waiting for, um, would disappear. Um, exposing here for the shadows, of course, and uh, it just it worked out really nicely. Nice composition. I really enjoy this rock right here, sort of balancing out the, the land mass over here. Lots going on in the foreground. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorites, this one. Um, incidentally, this light, uh, during the evening only happened once. So uh, I got pretty lucky to capture that. For the final photograph, this is uh, early morning. I think the sun is uh, quite well up. Cloudy day. Uh, that was sort of the precursor to a hurricane sky right here. Uh, the ocean is sort of calm. It's that calm before the storm. Um, so yeah, I really like that one. Um, love the, the yellow and the, the sort of the warm greys um, looking out over the Atlantic Ocean. So that is my uh, Seal Island series, which is being released um, in July 2019. Um, it's a very small series, but uh, you know, you go through several hundred photographs and you just pick out the best, you edit them down right to the almost the bare bones, and I'm uh, really quite happy with this series. Anyway, thank you again for looking and watching and listening, and we'll just, I'll just take them, take you through these photographs one more time very quickly. Take care, everyone.